Hi everybody! Welcome to another Scratch tutorial, this time showing the workflow between Pomfort's LifeGrade and Scratch. For those of you guys not knowing what LifeGrade is and what it does, let me briefly explain. LifeGrade is a neat little tool for OS X and it controls a so-called LUT box or multiple LUT boxes. Now, what is a LUT box? A LUT box receives the live SDI signal from the camera then does some kind of modification to it. Could be a lock to lin conversion or uh, applying a certain look that's desired for the current scene. And then passes on the modified SDI signal to an SDI monitor or to a recording device. And with LiveGrade, you can control that lot box in real time. Hence, LiveGrade, the camera's signal. All right, so let's jump over to LiveGrade and have a look at the UI, which is pretty straightforward actually. In the top half you have your great library. And a great library can contain multiple groups, which then again can contain multiple different gradings. As you can see here we've already set up a couple of gradings. In the lower half to the left we have our device control, where we can set up the different LUT boxes for each camera. And to the left we have our grading environment. Now in this particular example scenario we're shooting a movie and we're having a very special look per scene. Uh, the purple look and the red look and the green look and so on. And we're also shooting with two different cameras. We're shooting with an Arri Alexa and a Blackmagic camera. And since both of these cameras produce different images we need to set up an individual look per camera for each scene to compensate for that difference and to achieve a unified look between the two. And uh, this is being reflected here in the camera row where you can see the brighter green look is for camera A which is the Arri Alexa and the darker green look is for camera B which is the Blackmagic camera. Okay so here's a key thing to know for our workflow to work properly. The camera ID actually is the first character of your real ID that the corresponding camera records. And the camera ID is automatically filled in by LifeGrade depending on which slot you have selected when adding the grade to the grade library. So if slot B is selected it will read a B and if slot A is selected it will read an A. So you want to make sure that in this particular case the Arri Alexa attached to slot A actually records real IDs starting with A and the Blackmagic camera attached to the LUT box in slot B actually records real IDs starting with B. You can always enter something else manually if you like but since LifeGrade does a good job uh, assuming that the slot ID is the real ID of the camera, uh, I would make use of that. Else you can uh, fill in the scene that this look is uh, being done for and also shot and take information if you want. In this case we're only creating looks per scene and camera and so we only filled out this information. Now when you are ready to export all your looks that you just created live grading the camera's SDI signal. You can go ahead and just select all of the looks and then go to File and select Export Selected Grades as 3D LUT. Okay, so let me quickly create a new folder called LUTs. Set the proper export format to Simulate Scratch. And the naming scheme actually offers a couple of presets but we can also create our own custom preset to give all the exported 3D LUTs a custom name and for my exports I want to have the video production's name uh, preceding the actual metadata info so let's call this live grade demo underscore then fill in the scene and then fill in the camera and between the 
two of those maybe an underscore to separate them so that looks pretty good let's save it and that's it now instead of exporting all those grades as 3d LUTs you could also export them all as CDLs I'll stick for 3d LUTs for now but uh, the workflow with CDLs would be basically the same so let's go into scratch go into our project and load all those clips into our project here we go these are all our clips and if we go to the media browser we can see we have the real ID starting with A from camera A and starting with B from camera B but we don't have scene and take information so far so we could go to the audio tab click the find audio button and point scratch to the folder that contains our WAV files and in this case the sound device recording those WAV files has been gen locked to the camera's timecode so the WAV files have the same timecode as the cameras have and since we had a very clever sound engineer he put the scene and take information into those WAV files and when we now hit select scratch will match each WAV file based on the timecode to the corresponding clip and slip it accordingly to be in sync and if we now go to the base tab we can see that scratch has added scene and take information to each of the clips so let's have a look into the player everything there everything looking good and everything without grade as we can see now if we select all the clips and go back into the media browser then switch to the grade tab we have the option to load lots to multiple shots at once and if we switch this drop down here to match on shot name or search mask we can tell scratch what our 3d LUTs are named after so I'll just fill in the same as I did in live grade live grade demo underscore then followed by our scene name followed by an underscore followed by the real ID now as you can see the real ID of each clip is a005 or b008 so I need to tell scratch to just look out for the first character of the real ID which I'm doing by adding those and those breaks to the real ID and filling in 0 0.1 which basically tells Scratch to start with the first character but do not go any further than the first character of the real ID. Now I can select if I want to add those lots as a grade or as a source lot. In this case I'm going to select source lot and hit the load button. Now all that's left to do is go to the LUTs folder which contains all the LUTs and hit select. That's it. Scratch now matched all the LUTs to the corresponding shots based on the scene and real ID information. If I now close the media browser and enter into the player I can see that we now have our very contrasty very colorful looks applied to each of the clips. Alright, so much for transferring looks between LifeGrade and Scratch using the 3D LUT export option in LifeGrade and the LUT matching option inside the media browser in Scratch. Stay tuned for part 2 where we are going a different route to transfer looks from LifeGrade to Scratch and see you there. Bye!